What's going on YouTube? We're back here again today with another fantasy basketball mock draft. Today we're in a points league with the third overall pick. Before we get into the video, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video helped you out. So Jokic went first, Giannis two. We're going to grab Luka here. I really, I love Luka's game. Um, he's doing amazing. I really expect him to kind of build on that. Now with Jalen Brunson gone, there's going to be a lot more uh, pressure on him to create a little bit more, even with Dinwiddie there. And he is getting a nice front court in JaVale McGee and Christian Wood. So his assist numbers could go up. It's not out of the realm for him to average a near triple-double or a double-double in assists at least. I do think his rebounding numbers will take a hit with McGee and Wood. But his assist numbers should go up. So let's go Luka. Next was Embiid, Curry, Tatum, KD, Cat, uh, Harden, LeBron, LaMelo, Ja, Trey, Tyrese, AD, Bradley Beal. Zion Williamson, Damian Lillard, Paul George, D-Book, and Sabonis. I see Pascal here, Rudy Gobert here, Shea here. All great picks. I feel like we've gotten Pascal a good amount. So I kind of want to grab someone like Shea Gilligas Alexander. Is returning from injury, but he put up a great, great year before he got hurt. There's also Kyrie, who is not ranked as one of the suggestions here. Uh, but he's right here. Kyrie is another player I might kind of lean toward getting. Average 27, 4, and 6 last year with 3.4 threes and 1.4 um, steals. Had a really solid year when he did play. He didn't play a lot. Um, for that reason, I might actually go Siakam. Let me see. Um, if I grab Siakam, there's a shot Kyrie might make it through. Or actually, let me grab... Let's go uh, SGA. Since we grabbed Siakam a uh, good amount of these drafts. So let's go SGA. Yes, Kyrie made it. There's Jimmy Butler, Pascal, DeRozan, Donovan Mitchell. And we're going to grab Kyrie Irving here. Actually, DeJounte Murray's here as well. Uh, but I do see him taking a dip. I just feel like Kyrie Irving is more. Uh, his scoring and threes and steals will probably help him outshadow DeJounte. Because he's going to take a big dip in scoring numbers. So let's grab Kyrie here. Uh, next up was Bam, DeJounte, Rudy Gobert, Anthony Edwards, Kawhi Leonard, Vucevic, De'Aaron Fox, Cade Cunningham, Darius Garland, Brandon Ingram, Evan Mobley, Van Fleet, Randall, Jalen Brown, Porzingis, Chris Paul, Jared Allen, and Drew Holiday. Looking at the suggestions, uh, Zach Levine makes a lot of sense here. Terry Rozier, CJ McCollum. Within the first three picks, I'm usually seeing... Um, the three of them around this time. Scotty Barnes as well. Jonas Valachunas is usually here. However, someone like DeAndre Ayton is kind of going overlooked. Um, so is Chris Middleton. Uh, but DeAndre Ayton, I expect a big year from him actually. 18 points, 10 rebounds is what they project for him. However, I think he might actually go above in points. They don't have a starting power forward yet. It might be Miles Bridges, Cam Johnson. Uh, they're trading away DeAndre, I'm mean, not DeAndre Hunter, uh, Jay Crowder. So I do think DeAndre is in line for a bigger year. Chris Paul uh, should get him involved. And Phoenix just paid him, even though there were the rumors of the trades and they didn't, they didn't really want him. Obviously, he's going to be here this year. And Phoenix should really uh, use DeAndre Ayton to the best of their ability because he is a great rebounder, pretty good down low, and I think he's a little underutilized. So let's grab Ayton. I don't think Zach Levine will make it to us, but maybe Terry Rozier or CJ McCollum might. And there goes Zach Levine, CJ McCollum, Jamal Murray, and Christian Wood. So Terry Rozier made it to us. Chris Middleton also made it to us. That's someone to consider as well. Uh, Scotty Barnes, if he does take a big leap this year, is a good selection as well. But I'm actually going to go Chris Middleton here. His, well, Terry Rozier, I expect a big year from him. Uh, but Chris Middleton defensively and all around is just a little bit better than Terry Rozier. And he, Terry Rozier might end up scoring more than Middleton. But I think his playmaking is a little bit limited with LaMelo on the team. I mean, Chris Middleton does have Giannis and Holiday on the team as well. Um, so it's pretty interesting. But Middleton always does seem to get around five assists a game, even with all of them on the team. 
and his defense is a little bit more valuable and the rebounding is a little bit more valuable than Rozier's scoring. So let's go Middleton. Uh, actually, let's take a look at our team. Yeah, we do have a lot of guards. It, it would be nice to lock a small forward. So let's go Middleton here. Next up went uh, Terry Rozier, Robert Williams, Clay Thompson, Clint Capella, Tobias Harris, Russell Westbrook, Scotty Barnes, Sangoon, Jonas Valanciunas, Miles Turner, Paolo Benchero, Jakob Pato, Yusuf Nurkic, Colin Sexton, Pukasevsky, uh, Draymond, Jaron Jackson, and Jalen Brunson. John Collins is who they're recommending to us, as well as Josh Giddy and Ben Simmons. I love Giddy and Ben Simmons, especially in points leagues, just because they're, the field goal doesn't matter as much, free throw doesn't matter as much, three-point percentage doesn't matter. It's really all about the stats, like the rebounds, the assists, the steals, and the blocks, and the threes. And obviously, Giddy and Simmons won't really get you a lot of threes, but they're going to get you a lot of rebounds and assists from the point guard position. And we love to see that. Uh, not the greatest of scorers. However, when they're getting you so many rebounds and assists, you can deal with them averaging about 14 points a game. Now, coming down to who I'd want more, uh, I believe we have Kyrie on our team. So I think I'll go Giddy for that reason. We also have Shea on our team. So um, Either way, we're taking a little bit of a hit here. They both play shooting guard. Um... Another option for us could be John Collins. However, I'm not a huge fan of John Collins. I feel like he's always kind of under uh, underachieving. And I really want to go either Shea or Ben Simmons. Um, ben Simmons, let's go Ben Simmons. I feel like with KD and Kyrie on his team, the opportunity for assists are just much higher here. There goes John Collins, Wendell Carter, Al Horford, Bobby Portis. And I saw Giddy made it to us. Um, that's a big one. Another player that I expect a big year from, Keldon Johnson. 20 points, 6.5 rebounds. I actually think these two numbers could be a lot higher, especially with there being no offensive firepower in San Antonio. The game is really just going to run through Keldon Johnson, and that's just keys for fantasy success. Delo's also here, 17.7 assists. 2.73 is kind of boosting up his fantasy point value. He could be more um, enticing compared to Josh Giddy for our team since we do have Shea. Uh, but looking at our team, we do need mo uh, a good amount of wings. We're kind of set on our guards. We have so many. Um, for that reason, I'm kind of leaning toward Keldon Johnson. Can play both forward positions, and I expect a big year from him. Let's go Keldon Johnson. There goes Zubak, uh, Bagley, Boyan Bogdanovich, Rashawn Holmes, PJ Washington, Michael Porter Jr., Brendan Clark, Stephen Adams, James Wiseman, Mitchell Robinson, Jalen Smith, Josh Giddy, Montrez Harrell, Jalen Duran, RJ Barrett, Mo Bamba, Andre Drummond, and Desmond Bain. Uh, looking at our team, we still need the forward positions. Kuzma sticks out here. So does Ananunbi. D'Angelo Russell is really hard to pass up, but we might have to. Another player, let's see if we'll suggest anyone else. Devin Vassell, Wiggs, yeah, all of these guys we'll see later on. Jeremy Grant last year averaged 19.42, gets about a steal a block as well, shoots the three pretty well. Gonna be playing in Portland. I think he may make it to us on the swing back. So we could grab actually Kuzma, Jalen Green, D'Lo. I think D'Lo, it's really hard to pass up on D'Lo here. Just because he's been here for so long and i do expect his assist numbers to go up and with the offense a little bit more spread out with cat and the uh might spending a lot more time in the three-point line with gobert down low it could also increase uh delo's three-point percentage so let's go delo i know we need forwards and we're gonna uh take care of that in the later round so there goes chris boucher isaiah stewart thomas bryant and andrew wiggins Looking at the suggestions, Kuzma still here. Another solid pickup for us. And sticking with the Fords, OG is a very good pickup here as well. Um, projected 34 fantasy points a game. 16.9 points, 5.6 rebounds. The steals and the threes are really what make OG valuable in points leagues. 
just like Kuzma, uh, also about the same reason, but Kuzma is more efficient in getting the rebounds and uh, a little bit better of a playmaker than OG. And OG is a much better defender. Um, I'm going to go OG for that reason. The defense and the threes just make him pretty, pretty valuable. There goes Onyeka Kongwu, Isaiah Jackson, Kevin Love, o Kelly Olynyk, Walker Kessler, Jeremy Grant, who we are also considering, Nick Claxton, JaVale McGee, Mason Plumley, Kyle Kuzma, Sadiq Bey, Isaiah Hardenstein, Karis Lovert, Malcolm Brogdon, Lonzo Ball, Buddy Heal, Dylan Brooks, and Devin Vassell. Looking at our options, I see Jalen Green, 33 fantasy points projected. Kevin Porter Jr., 36 fantasy points projected. They seem to always be here around this time together as well. Kyle Lowry is here as well. And Harrow and Jordan Poole seem to be dipping in the drafts as well. Uh, Maxi kind of takes a hit in the points leagues as well. I actually like Kyle Lowry the most of the bunch here. I feel like he had a down year, so he's going a little underlooked. Now kind of fitting in, uh, spending another year in Miami, kind of uh, coexisting with the team a little bit more, fitting in into his role a lot better. Gets you a lot of threes, gets you steals, and gets you a lot of assists. Very valuable in points leagues. I'm going to go Kyle Lowry here. There goes Gary Trent, Anthony Simons, Jalen Green, and Jordan Poole. Now, we could... Wait... Where's our team again? Uh, by roster. We're still very guard heavy. We're really going to need to pile up on our forwards and center situation. Do we have a backup center at all? Nope, just Aiton. Which is very problematic. Who can play center? Yeah, none of these guys are enticing to me right now. Since we do need a lot more forwards, Mikhail Bridges is someone that's popping up right now off the bat can he play both forward positions or just small forward just small forward franz wagner actually we're gonna go franz wagner um i really like him this year i think he's gonna take a huge step in um with orlando even with paulo banchero there pretty decent three-point shooter pretty good defensively one steal a game and gets you a little bit of assists rebounds and points uh however i think he might make it through oh no he's not making it through that much that far yeah I like Maxi, I like KPJ, and I like Marcus Smart here, but we really need to address our forward depth, so we're going to take Franz Wagner here. And there goes Tyrese Maxi, Harrow, Gafford, Marcus Smart, Dinwiddie, Derek White, KPJ, Jabari Smith, John Wall, Mike Conley, Trey Jones, Gordon Hayward, Kemba Walker, Norman Powell, Jalen Suggs, Josh Hart, Jaden Ivey, and Keegan Murray. Off the bat, I see Mikhail Bridges still here, so that's a good sign. We could grab someone like Brooke Lopez, uh, not the greatest fantasy asset. We could also grab Laurie Markkinen. I, actually, I think I'm going to go Laurie Markkinen just because of his ability this year. He's going to have a lot of options to score the ball this year. Mikhail Bridges is definitely a better defender. can get you more steals. But Laurie will probably get you more threes and rebounds, which is also very valuable. So let's go Laurie here. And maybe hope Brooke Lopez or I don't know about Precious Achua, but maybe Brooke Lopez will make it. And he did. There goes Cole Anthony, Devonta Graham, John Isaac, and Mikhail Bridges. So we don't really have a backup center, so we are going to miss out on players like Aaron Gordon, Monte Morris, uh, Harrison Barnes to grab someone like Brooke Lopez. Won't get you as much points. Uh, but if we roll out with one center out there every every week, it's going to be pretty hard for us to kind of max up on our lineup. So let's go Brooke Lopez. There's Aaron Gordon, Miles Bridges, Victor Oladipo, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Evan Fournier, Harrison Bards, Jared Vanderbilt, Monte Morris, and Seth Curry. We got to be on this draft lineup. Luka, Shea, Kyrie, Middleton, Keldon Johnson, OG, DeAndre Ayton, Ben Simmons, D'Lo, Kyle Lowry, Franz Wagner, Laurie Marketed, and Brooke Lopez. Obviously, the big weakness for us is the center position. We only got DeAndre Ayton. Um, we could have uh, we could have tried to grab someone like um, instead of Chris Middleton, maybe Capella, or instead of Ben Simmons, we could have grabbed Wendell Carter, Al Horford, instead of Keldon. No, I think I like where I got Keldon. 
we could have grabbed Thomas Bryant instead of D'Lo. Or Walker Kessler would have been a big one instead of OG. So there were opportunities for us to grab a couple of centers. We really missed out on that position and it really hurt us down the draft. Uh, but the rest of the team, I think, is pretty solid. I feel like we got a lot of versatile players and a lot of players that are expected to take the next step. And that's really what you're looking for in points league because really field goal doesn't matter that much. Free throw doesn't matter as much. Three point percentage doesn't matter. And turnovers do matter, but when you're getting so many rebounds and assists, it's really hard to complain. Uh, but that's enough with this draft. That's all for this video. I will see you guys next time. Please don't forget, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And until next time.